All right. <clears throat> On the fly, this was a video requested today that I saw. Thank you for your request. I'm going to go through this. This is a question online, apparently from Aztec Manual, I don't know. Don't really care. I saw this online, so I'm getting this question from online, and I'm going to answer this. Uh, so we have a, a random variable w. It's discrete, and it only takes on the values of 1, 2, and 3. Furthermore, the probability that w is each of these values is equal, is a third. It has to be a third, right? They're all the same. They have to add up to 1. We want to know what is the expectation of y as well as the variance of y. Now first of all, one of the details they tell me that the um, the conditional distribution of y given w uh, is exponential with mean w. Let me write down what that um, should say to you in symbols. So, okay, so the conditional distribution of y given w uh, itself is distributed expo. Um, now be careful here because usually I put lambda here with mean, with mean w. That means lambda actually is 1 over w. Okay, so that was a little confusing, but um, take a look at the question again. Okay, um, this means that lambda is 1 over w. Okay, that's what, that's what this means. All right, so anyways, anyways, um, why do we need that? Because um, they want to know what is the unconditional expectation of y. And that just means no condition. <laughs> and the unconditional variance. Let's do this. This is not too bad. This is really not too bad. And it's a good example, actually, because it's going to test you on two things. Um, double expectation and law of total variance. Important things to know for exam P. So, how do I want to do this? I want to jump right to it. And by the way... You could, if you want to do I don't know if it's going to be helpful at all, but you could write down what is the PMF, the conditional PMF of this, all right? So let me just write it over here in case we need to resort to it. Uh, the PMF, the probability uh, that the conditional PMF, that uh, Y, prob uh, probability of Y given W equals W, Y given W. They need to work on the notation. Notation is all messed up. This is the notation for that. Uh, what is this equal to? What is this equal to? Just think about this for a second. It's exponential with mean w. In other words, lambda is this. I mean, just do what you do with uh, exponentials, right? So this is exactly uh, 1 over w e to the negative y over w. So this is the PMF. This is the conditional PMF. Right, I, I sort of, I mean, wrote it up here and then I'm running out of room, right? Just whatever. It's not as nice as I want it to look, but this board needs to be bigger. Anyways, let's go right up after we're after. Actually, let's go right to it. So I don't even need this crap. Let's just get rid of this. I want to know first, let's start with the easy thing, easier thing. What is the expectation of Y? Well, given what I just wrote down, actually, and actually what the statement says, we know we're given, we're actually given this, right? So we are given, we are also given, furthermore, that the expectation of y given w is exactly w. That's what they told me, right? Because they told me that uh, the conditional distribution of y given w is exponential with mean w. Okay, well then this conditional, this random variable in here is exponential. It looks like that. What's the mean? What's the expectation of something like that? Oh, it's W. I mean, just go through the thought process there. This is exactly what's going on. So what's the expectation of Y? What then is the expectation of Y? This is, this is exactly when you want to use the double expectation formula because the random variable you're interested in, it's mean that you're interested in, this random variable depends on another variable. Depends on another random variable. So this is the expectation of the expectation 
of y given w. Now we just use the information we have, which is this, so this is the expectation of w. I can absolutely compute the expectation of w, it's the easiest thing ever, because we have these probabilities of w, you know the values w takes on, just use the definition of expectation for a discrete random variable w. All right, well then this is the, the, very, the, the, the number it takes on, one, times the probability of that number, plus the other number it takes on times the probability of that number plus the last value it takes on times the probability of that number. Well, this is what? This is 1 plus 2. What is this? I don't know. I can't count. God damn it. 1 third plus 2 thirds plus 3 thirds. So 2? This is two, right? <sighs> this, this is all, you know, the arithmetic. This is where I mess up. If I make mistakes with arithmetic, this is one plus two plus three. That's six. Over three is two. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your help. You did nothing. There's an the expectation. So we're done with that, right? So this value is two. So let me record things. All right, so first thing expectation conditional well sorry unconditional expectation of y is 2 that's done what is the variance of y what is the variance of y i also want to use well i want to actually deduce something from what i was given what i was given conditional distribution of y given w is exponential with mean w all right so you know what i just said which is this this is definitely true. So you can just all nod your head and you know that this is right because y given w is exponential. But then wait, since you're all studying diligently for this exam P, you also know something about exponential. Your other random fact that you need to know about exponential distribution is that its variance, what's the variance of an exponential distribution? The variance of y given w is always 1 over lambda squared. But 1 over lambda, well, lambda is 1 over w, so this is w squared. Let me use that fact to find the variance of y. So hence, what can I say? The variance of y, I'm going to use the law of total variance. I don't know why, but I always had an easy time remembering this. I have no idea why. I just need to take the variance of the expectation of y given w, and I need to add that to the expectation of the variance of y given w. I don't know. It's kind of a weird formula, but um, I actually have an easy time remembering it. I have no idea why. Getting right to it, variance of the expectation of y given w. All right, so this is the variance of expectation of y given w. That's w. No big deal. Uh, plus expectation of variance of y given w. This is the expectation of variance of y given w is w squared. W squared. Huh. Not too bad. Let me use the definition of variance of w. This is equal to the expectation of w squared, right? The second moment minus the first moment squared. Plus, again, I have over here the second moment of W. This looks excellent. This is equal to 2 times the second moment of W minus the first moment squared. This is looking good. This is looking good. Uh, what is... Well, we have the expectation of W. Uh, we found that... It's actually the expectation of y, right? It's, it's the same thing, right? This is the expectation of y. So we, we computed that. Um, this is expectation of y, which is 2, so squared, right? Expectation of w is expectation of y, which is 2. So it's going to be 4. All right. Uh, we just need to compute this. But I mean, just go back to your basically just foundational concepts, right? I mean, how do you compute the second moment just back in the day, the first time you learned it, you just square all you, the values of the random variable and then multiply by their, their corresponding probabilities. So this is 1 squared times a third. 
plus 2 squared times a third plus 3 squared times a third. Okay, that takes care of the second moment, minus 4, all right, minus 4, because that's what this is, right? Expectation of W is expectation of Y squared, it's 4, blah, 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 do the arithmetic, what do you get? Uh, you get something nice, you get, so well, kind of nice, you get 16 over 3. So that takes care of it, and now I'm going to get annoyed. Did I actually do this right? Right, this is right. This is 1 plus 4 plus 9. 1 plus 4 plus 9 is 14, times 2 is 28, minus 12. Yes, that's right. Okay, good. Tell me what you think. Hope it was helpful, and thank you for asking me this question. That's it.